This episode of the ResortLoop.com podcast is brought to you by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Joffrey's is proud to be the official specialty coffee of Disney. Enjoy drinks and pastries at Joffrey's kiosks throughout the parks and check out the Disney specialty coffee collection only at Joffrey's.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. And we're trudging along right now in the middle of Holiday Thon 2014. Woo. Are you going to make it, Bob? I know this isn't a run Disney event. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm training. But it's long I'm and training. arduous nonetheless. I'm, I'm trying not to cramp up. What What do I got to do if I start cramping up, Tim? Eat a banana. Drink some water. All right. All right. If you say so. <laughs> make sure you carry some bananas in your shorts. Um, <laughs> thank goodness. I mean, I got a lot of training in. I got to be honest. I got a lot of training in running around the malls. Uh, for the holiday, can you and, get up to a good clip, or are you just weaving in and out of people? <laughs> oh, I'm 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 dodging people. I'm doing like parkour. <laughs> I'm jumping over people's heads, you know, running up some woman uh, to uh, uh, you know to get that uh, that last toy. Oh, that is on the shelf before somebody else gets it. You know what I mean? I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, uh, but I, I'm lucky enough. I'm lucky enough. My wife's uh, birthday is uh, uh, like a week and a half after Christmas. So, so, so you get her something on sale after everything's cleared out? Exactly, and I'm still shopping. So, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, I'll be able to get some uh, some even better deals than I got. But anyway, Tim, uh, we're in the middle of Holiday Thon uh, 2014. What are we going to talk about today? Well, in our uh, crawling of the interwebs, <laughs> we came across like a great article from our lovely friends over at the Huffington Post. And I'm not sure if they're lovely or our friends, but we're going to cite them nonetheless. <laughs> well, we we kind of gave them a bad rap a few shows ago when they were, you know, bad mouth and uh, a trip to Walt Disney World being uh, not as magical. So uh, they put out this one. This is. I like this one. We're going to just go over this a little bit, just talk about it and see. I want to see what you think about some of these things. Yeah. So uh, this is the five things to do for Christmas with kids at Disney World. And of course, the... Uh, I know Christmas is over, but uh, the holiday thon continues, as does all of the Christmas festivities at Disney World. It does, and I'll tell you, nothing gets me ready and excited to maybe think about a holiday trip. Yes. Then the current holiday season, thinking, you know, maybe next Christmas. <laughs> at some point, I could get down there and catch some Osborne lights or catch some kind of holiday things going on down there. Even preparing for the holiday thon, I'm like, man, we just need to go. You do this every year. I do. And then I don't have any vacation time. and then <laughs> Right. <laughs> or, or money. Or, or, <laughs> the, the one time you booked it, you were ready to go, and, and then you had to cancel because of whatever. And, yeah. 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 So. That happens. Anyway. So, Tim. Yes. Why don't you start us off? What's what's the... Uh, are we going to start at the bottom? Well, they're, they're really not in any numerical order, are they're they? Not, they're not in any order, but I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up, because I think maybe that's kind of how they did it. All right, let's do that. Okay, coming in at number five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> On the uh, top five things to do with your kids at Walt Disney World during the holidays. Yes. Is the resort decorations. Yes, they are. I think this is overlooked a lot. Or a lot of people plan their trips. And they don't think about the resorts being decorated. Yes, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in just a little bit extra there. Uh, I'm going to say downtown Disney as well. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of lumping that in with, uh, with their idea of resort decorations being a, a top five. You got you to gotta spend some time at downtown Disney uh, during, during Christmas because it's beautiful down there then. And once it's Disney Springs, you think they'll do a little, a little more, make it a little more spectacular? Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to see that can't wait it's going to be uh, disney springs is just going to give you uh, everybody a, a, a even more of a reason to go down there I, at any time of the year i, I always look at it as kind of like a, a couple hour getaway let's go somewhere different for lunch let's just go somewhere and see what else is going on absolutely and, and sometimes you can um you know avoid uh, some of the crowds it's it 
depending on what time of the day you go, it might not be as crowded. It sounds like it's going to uh, bump its way up to maybe like a half day or more, you know, maybe a couple half days in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And for all the kids out there, I'm just going to say this. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm pretty sure the last time we were down there at Christmas time, I'm pretty sure uh, it was really Santa Claus sitting there. Oh, I would think so. Why would you want to be somewhere cold? Well, exactly. I mean, you know, you, know, you got to stay yep. somewhere warm right beforehand, right after. Right. The elves are already up there. They're 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 handling stuff. They're up there in a sweatshop. They're turn, turning out it, a product. <laughs> it's not a sweatshop. No. Well. No, it's it's Santa Land. Come on. Well, they don't have to follow by United States labor code up there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Santa takes care of I, I'm anyway, not saying he doesn't. I'm not saying he doesn't. Anyway, I agree. The resort decorations, including downtown Disney, beautiful. Uh, coming in at number four. Yes. Tim. You're, you're going to do the countdown, so what's number four? Coming in at number four on your top five Walt Disney World things to do with I kids at Christmas lights. time. The lasers are coming around all around me here in the Resort Loop Studios. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, very nice. You like that? <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's uh, what, was that, what was that show? The lights would come down. When, uh, who wants five. to be a millionaire? Yeah, who wants? There you go. There's no million dollars here, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently Christmas is over. <laughs> it is. But at number four, it's one of your favorites because I know you've seen it because you've sent me pictures. Oh. The Osborne family spectacle of Dancing Lights. Yeah, they keep stre- stretching that name out longer and longer. <laughs> There's a different different. adjective every year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next year, it'll probably be the Osborne family spectacle of Dancing Lights Spectacular. Now, since I, exactly. Uh. Now, since I've only seen pictures <laughs> and video from others, I'm going to have you because yes. you've seen this on, in person. Uh, you can talk about the magnitude. It is. Uh, it is. It truly is spectacular. Uh, everywhere you look, it's beautiful. It's snowing uh, in the in the studios uh, over there on uh, uh, what is that? The streets of America. Uh, it is just. It's gorgeous. It. I. I can't even. There are no words. You have to see it. Uh, and one of the things that's fun to do there. Uh, it's not a hidden Mickey, but it's a hidden black cat that they put somewhere um, in the lights. A hidden black cat. Yes. You okay. have to find the cat whenever you go. Uh, now, there are hidden Mickeys everywhere. Uh, and actually, I got an idea while I was there, and I made my own uh, Mickey head light Ooh. Uh, u- using those rope lights. Okay. That that, that uh, you can pick up at any of your local stores, uh, but they had those everywhere. The rope lights that were uh, uh, wrapped around to, to be hidden Mickey's. So uh, very uh, very, uh, it's it's amazing. It truly is amazing. Awesome. I wish I had words, but I I have um, you know English is a second language to me. So oh, okay. <laughs> well, we all know that. We've heard you try some big ones and. <laughs> But um, I'm going to throw this out there. I don't know if anybody has that one guy in your neighborhood. We have some people. I think they just moved into the neighborhood. I think this year. It could have been last year. Yeah. They have their house lights set to music. I'm sure you've seen these. Oh, yeah. And I think they're Disney fans. All right. Because they have a little world of color. Hey. I know exactly. And I think maybe some Fantasmic uh, or no, Wishes mashed in there and with some Frozen songs. Nice. It is nice. Nice. I'm like, I'm going to have to get to know these people. Yeah, you're going to have to go uh, <laughs> bake them a pie. <laughs> Very nice. Excellent. But yeah, so I have my little mini Osborne lights right. down, down, the, down the street here in the neighborhood. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to say right now, we've got a listener going, wait a minute. That's that's my house. You think? R- Resort Loop Tim lives right down the street from us? Oh, my Who goodness. Knew? That's what I'm thinking. In that hovel? Where they don't cut the grass? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's the guy with the giant fountain out front that is uh, <clears throat> violating all the zoning codes. Exactly. Yeah. The yeah. fountain must stay. I chained myself to the fountain. <laughs> yeah, if only we had done that down at the uh, Polynesian, but we we shall see. Exactly. Tim... We're, we're getting close. What is number three on Huffington Post's top five things to do for Christmas at Walt Disney World? Coming in at number three is the star-studded 
And I mean that singularly, because there's only one. But the Candlelight Processional. No. No, I mean, there's only one no, There's only one celebrity announcer at each one. That's oh. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's a cast of hundreds, but, you know, only one true celebrity is. I wanted to know which one you were going to uh, to pick as your only one, one and only star. In- no, no, no. I mean, there's only one per uh, one per night. Per night. But right. the Candlelight Processional. This yeah, is yeah, this is on my list too. I need to see one of these. Um, I have seen it from afar. I have never uh, uh, taken the, the the time to stand in line. You saw it with Jafar. S- <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sitting in the. I'm not sitting in there. I I, I stand. Oh, I thought you were with Jafar. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. No, afar. Oh, afar. Okay, go afar. ahead. Afar. I'll back off the mic. I'm sorry. And you and you talk about me exactly. Um, I, you know, I have, I have been yelled at for standing on the, uh, the fountain there at, uh, <laughs> no respect for fountains from you. I don't understand this. <laughs> no, none, none. Uh, beautiful though. Beautiful. Uh, I have, uh, you and I both watched, uh, the, uh, uh, presentations on YouTube and that it's just uh, amazing. Some big names this year too. Huge, huge. Uh, LeVar Burton. LeVar Burton. You always have, a. Uh... NP- NPR? Neil Patrick Harris? NPH. Neil Patrick Har- N- no. N- NPR is the radio. <laughs> NPR is uh, is not going to be there this year. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> They're Neil not Patrick even covering Harris, it. Harris. Yes. Uh, not one of the readers. He's not one of the celebrity narrators, according to the list. I thought he was just there. He is. He's hosting the parade. No, he was just there. He just did it. Did he? I'm sure. I thought I saw pictures. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg was there. Maybe that's who you're thinking of. That could be. That could be. They're very similar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, big, uh, big star-studded cast. Love the candlelight processional, and would love to actually. <laughs> I might have to do the dining that that where you uh, uh, get the dining package to do that. That might be easier for me to do that. Oh, that's true. So they get uh, you. They get you inside. Right. Right. Next time, next time I'm going to do that. Yeah, he, sh- by the way, NPR, <laughs> where H was there, November 30th to December 2nd, which would fall into about the time when they would have recorded the parade. So that's that's uh, Neil Philip Harris. Oh. No, R- Rogers. Neil, Neil Philip Her- Rogers. He's a whole different guy. Not, that sounds like a serial killer. I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. <laughs> We better keep moving. Please do. <laughs> number, number two. Two. <laughs> Coming in at number two on the top five things to do with your kids at Walt Disney World is the Festival of the Seasons. I love that. Have you been? Love that. Tell us. Uh, Tell us about not, the Festival of the Seasons. I, uh, I am not so sure it's going to be uh, really great in Norway. I think they're going to actually have Sven, the, uh, the talking <laughs> elk. Uh, tell you about uh, uh, Christmas? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, no, it's uh, you go around to every um, country, and uh, you f- you find out uh, different things uh, cr- about Christmas at each of the countries. Uh, and uh, oh, wait have, a minute! Oh. I have no idea what you're reading. Where, what, what events I'm are you doing? About, I'm thinking about the in in Epcot where they uh, <laughs> where they talk to all of the all of the people. Oh, pull uh, up! We're gonna crash. We're gonna <laughs> pull back. This is this is the one at Downtown Disney. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking of one that they do it all at, at each of the countries as yes. they go around. We're I, not editing anything. You don't want to because I'll start it over. We're not st- we're not starting over. Oh, I have listen. This is what I have to work with. When my when my wife mixes up some eggnog, look out. <laughs> I'm just, I've had I've had like a whole plate of rum balls and oh uh, and some. <laughs> That's the best part of the rum eggnog. <laughs> that uh, she might have slipped a little bit of the rum balls in the eggnog. Oh my goodness! Anyway, <laughs> 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 this is what you get when you make me do nine shows in a row. That's right. Anyway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> The Festival of the Seasons is the holiday celebration at Downtown Disney. Again, we're talking about Downtown Disney, uh, where, of course, you meet Santa Claus, the real Santa Claus. 
Uh, and of course, uh, you know, you, you get to do all of the Christmas shopping there. Where else are you going to do your Christmas shopping but downtown Disney if you're at Disney? Exactly. But uh, not on the list. And we're going to talk about number one in a second. I like the idea you brought up. That didn't make the list anywhere on here. Traveling around the world showcase, learning about Christmas in different nations. That's it. See, I agree. That should be number two. It should at least be number two. Again. This is the problem we have with the Huffington Post. The Huff- <laughs> hang on, <laughs> hang on. I'm gonna bang on my on my uh, on my desk here. All right, I am upset. I just did it too. <laughs> oh, honey, can you give me some more eggnog? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> She's busy rolling your rum balls. <laughs> Tim. What is the number one thing you must, absolutely must do with your children at Walt Disney World at Christmas time? Coming in at number one, should we do a long distance dedication first? (laughs) No. I feel like we. Oh, I think we. I felt like we needed to do that in account now. You kind of did the number one, the the uh, long, (laughs) long distance dedication with the World Showcase. Okay, coming in at number one. (laughs) <laughs> on your top five list of things to do at Walt Disney World with your kids. Ooh, ooh. Oh, exactly. <laughs> is Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Woohoo! Woo! It's a hard ticket event. Tell us about the hard ticket event. You've done this. I have done this, and I'm telling you, if you're going to go to the Magic Kingdom, don't 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 use in your package uh, a Magic Kingdom ticket to to go to the Magic Kingdom. You're saying don't use a regular day of admission. A, a regular day of admission. Just purchase you know take one of the days off of your package let's say you're going to be there for five days don't get a five-day park hopper or or tickets get four days and then buy this one because it's a little bit cheaper anyway Mm -hmm. uh than a regular uh park ticket now you know we're not going to get into the whole you know packaging and it's cheaper the more you buy i'm just saying it's it's cheaper than a one-day ticket and uh it's it, it is so worth it it is so worth it. Everybody's like, I don't know if I want. This is so worth it. From what I've heard, the uh, the uh, Halloween party is worth it. Uh, but this is spectacular. You're walking down Main Street and it's snowing, and the castle's all lit up, and you're getting cookies and and hot cocoa, and you're getting special photo ops with uh, characters that you you don't see a lot of. Uh, it is just it it is so much fun. So much fun. We got our Christmas uh, picture, family picture, with Donald Duck uh, dressed in all his, uh, you know, uh, winter attire as the, uh, and it was his uh, Christmas tree lot where he was selling Christmas trees. Okay. So it was it was just very cool. We got our picture taken, and that was our Christmas card uh, for the next year that we sent out. You got it. You don't remember? Yes. It's right here next to me. <laughs> I think it's still in the mail. <laughs> it might be. I think it is. It, it, it might be. But I'm sure it's fantastic. Uh, oh, that was the year. Remember, you did that thing, and I said you're off the list. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. I changed the list. Yeah, I do that a lot. Anyway, uh, yeah, you got to do that. No, you got to do the uh, very Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. If you're going to be down there, it's silly not to go. I might go down just for that. It would be worth it. That would be my only park admission. It would be worth it. Do, you, do I need to say it a third time? I would wish you would. It would be worth it. I love so it. Just go down there for that. Let's go. I'm pulling in in the car. Lo- Looper Nation would be fine if we did no more <laughs> of the holiday <laughs> Are they Are they as beat down as we are? Although, I think you're going to have to drive because Patty just brought me another eggnog. Oh, I'm so, driving. Thank you, honey. All right. Oh, she's so sweet. Uh, whoo! Oh, wow. <laughs> Is there any egg in that nog? <laughs> anyway, it's a little extra uh, noggy. <laughs> Before this, uh, this uh, Polar Express. See how I tied that all together. I see how you're doing it. Goes off the tracks. Uh, Tim, that's all I've got. Excellent. Before we go off the rails and land next to Justin Bieber <laughs> <laughs> and Miley Cyrus, <laughs> let me tell you where I am. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Resort Loop Tim. We have a uh, the website resortloop.com i'm resort loop bob on the twitter and the instagram there will be no uh christmas party pictures on either of those (laughs) (laughs) Uh, where else can they listen tim you can always listen to resortloop.com and the rest of the holiday thon also on the stitcher the stitcher the stitcher everybody thanks for listening this has been the gateway to the magic
See you, everybody. We're leaving it all in. <laughs> it's an edit-free holiday thon, <laughs> 2014. <laughs>